Cops deal with citizens every day. But what happens when they get unprofessional and make unlawful arrests involving soldiers and veterans? Here are times when idiot cops tried arresting soldiers. Black uh, registration insurance, sir. Yes, sir. Why are you pulling me over? Because you're following me too closely. You nearly rear me. No, I did not. You slammed on your brakes. You had no brake. You had no turn signal or nothing. I had to turn around on the car without speeding. I'm doing my job out here, sir. Give me a last. You hit me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll see you. Let's kick off with the traffic stop of veteran Charles Donner and his wife Brittany on May 10th. The couple had been driving behind Arkansas State Police Trooper Ryan Wingo in Hot Springs, Arkansas, when Trooper Wingo made a sudden U-turn in an attempt to pursue a vehicle headed in the opposite direction, which was allegedly speeding. Mr. Donner honked his horn at Trooper Wingo, who responded with a full 360-degree U-turn and pulled behind Mr. Donner's vehicle with his lights flashing. Mr. Donner pulled to the right side of the road and stopped the vehicle when Trooper Wingo crashed into him with his patrol vehicle. Here is the interaction that unfolded. Take it on, look at my car. 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 I want to see the damage done to my vehicle. Give me a minute. We're on a traffic stop right now. Once I get done with my traffic stop, we're falling too closely. I was not falling too close. Clearly you were. You hit me. You stopped in the middle of a roadway, sir. No, you I didn't stop. I got over and I was I was in the lane. You trying stopped to in the lane. Back up. No, no, I was you trying to speed the back up. Okay, you sir. You slammed on your gas. Okay. And you hit us. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I'm so I told you why I stopped you because you were following me too closely. But I wasn't. But okay. okay. We'll see in court. Okay. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? I sure do. You don't need your ID. Yes, I do, actually, for the accident port That's that you fine. so that you so want, sir. Yes. I do want it. Okay. You f***ing hit me. There's no damage between our vehicles, though. I don't well, give a f***. Bro, you f*** ah. hit me. Yeah. Ah. Trooper Wingo then forcefully opened Mr. Donner's vehicle door, ordered him to exit the vehicle, and placed him under arrest for alleged disorderly conduct. This contradicts the state's law, which states that disorderly conduct involves intentionally causing public inconvenience, annoyance, or recklessly creating a risk of public inconvenience, such as engaging in violent action or causing a public disturbance. Since Mr. Donner had simply been in his vehicle conversing with Trooper Wingo, this was unlawful, as citizens cannot be arrested for simply using curse words. You're under arrest for disorderly conduct, sir. Ooh. Come on. Take a seat. Until you can calm down. Okay. Why are you doing this? Ma'am, <laughs> there was no need for cussing me out. Until he can calm down and act like an adult, <laughs> he's going to sit in the back of the car. Let me explain to you. My husband you... has severe PTSD. Severe. Severe. He's a 100% disabled veteran. And he is fucking... That's why I'm here. You're going to talk, talk to me? You're going to let me talk or you're going to interrupt me the entire time, ma'am? I'm sorry. Okay. Until he can calm down and act like a human being and stop cussing me out for no reason. So I'm trying to explain to him what happened. But he doesn't want to let me talk, okay? So do you want to let me talk or not? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Now. You gonna calm down or you gonna continue cussing? I just want your badge and number and your name. You gonna, I'm asking you a simple question. So you gonna calm sure. down? Sure, I just want your badge and number and your name. That's all I want. Okay, well I'm trying to ask and you And I said question. sure, officer. Okay, well you gonna continue cussing me out or not? Because that was that, and you're going to say sure, then I'm not going to have you sit out here and cuss me for no reason. There's no fit to, you're not incriminating yourself, sir. I'm just trying to ask and you. And I just said sure. I just, so your I just want your badge number, I just want your badge number and your name. Okay. That's all I want. Okay. This is going to end horribly. I just want him, I'm trying to get him to calm down. But he doesn't want to, he wants to continue yelling at me for no reason, okay? Hey, what do you wish? No, I said he has severe PTSD. I don't know if he has malicious intent. He's over here yelling and cussing me. For, now I'm just trying to get his information. And he wants to start yelling and stop in the middle of the road for no reason. I understand, but he was freaking out because you hit our car. That's why he was upset, was because you hit us. Drive 
text. He started cussing me out, and I had to call. I'm trying to have him okay. call down text. Okay, but everything's good to go. Yeah. He just wants to yell and cuss me for no reason, so I got him out and put okay. the handcuffs on the text. Awesome. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. I was coming this way. He was. I saw him riding my butt. Okay. I didn't really care. Car top two going 60. I'm on overtime. Turned around. Right. When I went turn around, he slammed me. He hot. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I have to turn around. I don't slam my brakes or anything. I hit my brakes. Turn around. I knew he was riding my butt. I just have to turn around. Yeah. Oh. Uh, turned around. And when I turned around, he starts laying on his horn. So I was like, okay. So you want to lay on your horn? I'll just pull you over. Pull you over. Yeah. So when I turned around, turned back around to come behind him, he moves straight over from the inside lane to the outside lane, moves straight over and just slams on the brakes. And I'm just trying to get behind him, and he slams on the brakes. And I didn't even have my lights on at that point, but he just stops in the middle of the road. You see these cars? You see the flag? You see the mark? Yep. Evidently, Trooper Ryan's driving was a reckless disregard for the safety of others, and his erratic driving was both illegal and likely responsible for the accident. Mr. Donner was ultimately released without charges for disorderly conduct but was issued a citation for following too closely and parking on a highway. Due to the disturbing experience during the traffic stop, the couple decided not to fight the charges and paid the $330 fine, but filed a civil lawsuit against Trooper Wingo. However, Trooper Wingo wasn't the only law enforcement officer to falsely arrest a veteran, as we will see in this next case. Do Hollywood. How's it going? Can we get away from the power lines? Let's start with that. Yeah, sure. What? Get away from the power lines. Let's sit over here for a minute. Oh, I, I didn't know, I didn't know we were. You don't, I mean, you don't we see were, the power lines? I mean, I didn't even look up. Okay, well, maybe you, you know should pay see. attention. Okay. Have a seat over there. Get away from me. Sit over there. You're pushing me away from you? Yeah, I don't need you stepping up to me like that. Sit down. Stepping up to you? Sit down, I'm gonna sit you down. This is US veteran Alan Kidd, who was apprehended by a DeLand police officer. The officer harassed and unlawfully arrested him, leading to the officer's dismissal for policy violations during the arrest. Here's how the arrest played out. I wasn't stepping up to you, sir. Sit okay. down, sit down. Do you understand that? When yeah. I tell you to do something, you do it. Yeah, is that right? Okay. You're on a power trip? Is that what it is? No. Okay. I need you to listen. That's what's up. Who are you? Um, I, was, I was just on the street and me and him were just talking. I mean I, okay. I, I mean, I saw that he was distraught and I was just trying to help. Okay. I appreciate your help. That's true. Do you live around here? Yeah, just next street. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, sir. Yeah. You're good to go. I mean, I was just trying to help. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. So what's going on with you today? Nothing. I'm just standing on the street corner talking to this guy I just met, and all of a sudden you're pushing me down and being real physical with yeah, me. Yeah, you know and why? I don't understand. No, I okay. don't know why. Okay? Lower your voice. Lower your voice. Really? Okay? Do I have to do this? Yes, I'm telling me? you the voice. Okay. Listen to me. Because I'm going to tell you one more time. John? I'm going to tell you one more time and you're going to go to jail. Is that right? Lower your voice or you're going to jail. Listen to this guy, okay? Do you believe in this? Lower your yeah. voice or you're going to jail. I'm not. Oh, I'm you're going to go to jail. Base. So listen, we are going to start over again so you can learn. Go ahead and keep moving forward. I'm going to lay you out on I'm the ground. I'm just trying to get more comfortable, okay? You are going to calm down and we're going to have a normal conversation why did you even and stop you're going here? to understand why I'm here. Okay, if tell you me. shut up and listen for a minute, you tell will me. understand. I'm ready. We were called here because you were here supposedly yelling at the cars and causing a scene negative okay let that, me, that, are you going to stop talking so i can explain negative, to you okay you're about to go to jail i wasn't yelling at you any cars you are about okay? to go to jail that is the last time that i tell you next time you're going to have handcuffs on you and you're going to jail we were called here based on what what's going on whether it's true or not it is not 
I have no clue. That's why I'm here, to figure out what's going on with you. When you walk up to an officer and you get that close to an officer, it is not good. Why? Because now you're in my personal space. So I am telling you to back up. And when okay you don't back up, you, when okay you don't back for, up for you, yes, when I give you an order, space, right? Because okay? when I give you an order, because you're on a power trip, because, because when I give you an order, badge, is that right? Because when I give you an order and you don't follow it, that's what happens. I told you to back up and you didn't. I told you back up again, or I'm going to sit you down and you didn't. So I sat you down. That's how it works. Is Do that you understand how it that? Works? Yes. So what's going on with you that you're yelling at cars or whatever? I'm Where are you ye yelling at cars? No, sir. Okay. Absolutely Where do you live? Not. Okay? Where do you live? I live in Deland, North Deland. Okay. No, where in I'm North on Deland? Way, I'm on my way home. Okay. Okay. Were you having some kind of issue? Did you need some assistance? Absolutely not. This guy was just trying to help me and be a good Christian. Help okay? you on what way? In what way? What uh, do you need help with? A spiritual way. Okay. Okay. Do you live with somebody? No, I, okay. I... Do you have ID on you? Huh? Do you have ID on you, sir? Yes, sir. I sure okay. do. I don't understand why, you, why you're why you doing this. Why you're pushing because me Because I don't like people testing me. I don't like people I don't not like fucking my Nazis order. Nazis, either. Okay. Are, are you done? Can I show you my ID? Please pick up my ID before yeah, we, we go. We will. I got that. I've done nothing. Stop nothing. talking! What? Ah, uh, 41 Central, Dome Mill, 1015. Stay in the car. I'm not going anywhere, but I don't understand what's going on, okay? Well, you're, you're going, going to jail. Up, right? Hey, look up. Look away from him. If you thought Alan Kidd's arrest was the most unprofessional arrest of a veteran, then you probably haven't seen this next case. How you doing? Yeah. What's going on? Waiting on my Uber. Waiting for your Uber? Yeah. You have an idea I can take a look at, man? No, you don't. I don't. I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, you're sitting in front of a closed bar and I can I'm see you in I'm waiting on my Uber, my friend. Let me see your ID. No. Okay. We can do this one of two ways, sir. We can okay, do I'm this being, one of being many ways. I'm being respectful to you. This is a 53-year-old U.S. veteran named James who got detained for simply waiting for his Uber outside of a bar. On May 1st, 2021 in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, James had been sitting outside a bar around 2.27 a.m waiting for his Uber when an officer from the Wheat Ridge Police Department apprehended him. Here's what transpired. I'm sitting here waiting on my Uber. I am doing nothing Show me wrong. on your phone that your Uber's coming. You know what? I want to break out my camera right now. Go ahead, mine's running as well. I want to start well. filming you. Mine's running as well. I am not doing anything wrong. Okay, well. I'm doing everything right. Not drinking and driving. And why are you, why are you messing with me? I'm not messing with you, sir. You're sitting no, in front no, of a closed bar. No, no, you are. Bar. You're sitting in front of a closed bar. You are messing with a Navy veteran that is waiting on an Uber. Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time. That is doing nothing Can wrong. Can I see your ID? No, you you're, can't. You're drunk in public. No, I'm not drunk in public. Give me your ID. I'm giving you a lawful order. You're not getting anything, dude. Okay. Stand I up. I am not doing Stand anything up. wrong. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What are you doing? I'm sitting put here doing nothing. Put your hands behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Set your phone down, sir. I, I don't think I don't think you're making good choices, sir. I'm waiting on my Uber, which I, is the sir, best choice. Sir, all I was trying to do was verify. The worst choice would be sir, driving. Sir, all I was trying to do was verify your Uber. Was that right or wrong? Well, if you unlock me, I'll show you the Uber. Well, that's what I, how many times did I ask for that, sir? <laughs> huh? Sir. Yes, sir. If I have I done anything illegal? Well, you're intoxicated in public. 
I'm sitting okay, on a bench waiting on right, my Uber. Right, at a closed business in a high crime area. Waiting okay? on my so, Uber. So, sir, sir, I have no idea who you are or what you're doing, and it's my job to find out. So all I did was wanted to have a conversation with you, and you won't give me any information at all, and it's obvious that you're intoxicated, right? That is why I am waiting on an Uber. Right, and how many times did I ask you to see your Uber? I tell you, my body camera. All right, running. well, unlock and, me if there's that big a deal, and I'll show you and my. And all you want to do, all you want to do is film me and argue with me. I have done nothing wrong. I'm sitting here minding my own business. Sir, I'm True just. True false. Doing, I'm just doing my job. You are fucking with a Navy veteran. Sir, step over here. Just sitting step here over minding here. my step own over business. Here. Step over here, sir. You can't even walk. I I was I'm sitting here minding my own business. You can't even walk, sir. What are you guys doing? You can't even walk. You're what? intoxicated. No, 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 You're no, a danger no, to yourself. No, no, no. I'm sitting here minding my own business. Yep. What are you guys doing? I'm waiting on my Uber. Sir, you're you're going to go to detox. You can't even walk. Oh my God, okay. dude. You can't even me walk. and let me know if I can walk or not. Well, it's pretty obvious that you can't. You guys, are you serious? I have an Uber coming. I have an Uber coming. Double locked, those are not double locked. Guys, seriously, stop. I'll grab his stuff, let me get in the car. I have an Uber coming. Please stop, and just let me go home. I have an Uber coming. I, have, I was sitting in the chair, not Sir? bothering anybody. Sir, I was trying to be reasonable with you. Oh my it's God, obviously you're, dude, you're I am a Navy busted. veteran. Okay, thank you for your service. And I'm just sitting there minding my own business. James finally gave the officers permission to verify on his phone that an Uber was indeed on the way to pick him up. Confirming this, the officers uncuffed him and waited until the Uber arrived. That's pretty funny, is your eye. Uh... <laughs> Fellas, I understand you have a job to do. Oh, yes, Terry? Yes, sir. Are you No, yes, not sir. me. I can say it. Army for me. Oh, family's army. You what? Oh, family's army. Oh, okay. I was the only, I'm in the only Navy. Alright, I got one more. Anyway. So you can get that other one off, man. Anyway. It's easier if he spins you around so you're not. Anyway, I didn't you go. listen. I didn't mean to be offensive. I get you, man. I was it's doing the right offense. thing. I was sitting. And I and I commend you for that. I, I yeah. really do. I commend you for that. You're good. Yeah. And so hey, give, tell you something. Give us pull up that Uber app. Iraq veteran. Okay. Thanks for your service, man. Pull up that app on your phone again so we can see how far that Uber driver is. Where is my it's, phone? it's up here. It said five minutes when we looked at it, so let's see where they're at. Do you have a good time tonight? Just my my own business. No, I just asked oh, if you had a good time. I didn't ask what you were doing. I mean, I mean, just an average time. At just an average time? Yeah. That's what expats are do. So how many minutes? Cool. Three minutes I'm good with that, man. I just wanted to, because it said five minutes, and yes, they must be. I didn't mean to be offensive, man. I I just, you weren't offensive, man. I was sitting man. in my own business. You're not offensive, but you have to understand, man. The wrong I, thing to do is drive, right? Agreed. So the let me let me tell you. Worst thing to do, let me tell you, which I won't do. Let me tell you a quick story. Um, a few years back, I had somebody over here that was stabbed just like that. So I wouldn't be doing my job, man, if I didn't check to make sure you're okay. Like right. I said, if you didn't have Uber coming and you walk out into 44, then get hit by a drunk driver or somebody's not paying attention, right. then that's on me, man. And I'm not, and you're a veteran, dude. I'm not gonna, I don't I want that on my, I don't want, here. I don't want that on my conscience. Maybe everything got a little out of hand, dude. No, I should no, have been more. There's nothing out of hand. No, maybe you shot. I, I didn't understand what was going on. I understand. What yeah. I thought was I'm sitting on a, chair, on a bench, not driving, as a veteran, because you know what? When I was in the military, I was a crazy, you know, drinking all the time. <laughs> but I thought, you know, I'm sitting here minding my own business. 
and you know, waiting on my Uber. And I'm sorry, dude, if I offended you. No, you, you didn't offend me. The thing is, you're like an hour past last call, so. Well, like it once again. Personally, choices. Yeah. Life is about choices. I, I agree. Man. And the choice is don't drink and drive. I agree. And, I and that's a smart choice. I had a few drinks tonight. Smart night. choice. Smart choice. And I, that's a choice I make all the time. Good. That's a good choice to make, man. When I was in the military in my 20s, I didn't make those didn't good make choices. Those choices. You know, I didn't care. Well, anyway, I appreciate it. You know what? I'm sorry. No I'm sorry, I think I will. I am. No apology necessary. But I didn't lie to you. You did not lie to me. I appreciate I that. I told you the Uber was coming. Well, you don't have to apologize to me either. There's nothing to be sorry for, right? Right. That's the first time I've been in handcuffs in about 26 years. Yeah. Hey, that's good. <laughs> so, I, hey. Reminds me, we try to get I don't ahead. want to be in them anymore. <laughs> try to get ahead of it, you know? <laughs> I think this might be your ride. I know, brother. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I could be angry, but I could say this. Amen. It's a good experience. I'm glad. I'm glad that everything I worked bring, out. I've broken their laws, but a little wake up call. All right. About 25, 26 years since I've had handcuffs on. Yeah. Since I was a young man, I, I learned I don't want them anymore. All right. All right, All right sir. Well, you have a good right, one. Brother. There's your ride. Hey. Let me get you home, brother. Never lied to me. Nope, you didn't. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Get Thank you guys. All right. Overall, the Wheat Ridge police officer's arrest was totally unlawful and unprofessional, accusing James on no clear grounds of several baseless allegations like being drunk in public when he was on private property. They detained James without reasonable basis and displayed a clear lack of knowledge of the laws guiding their profession as law enforcement officers. James clearly ensured that despite being intoxicated, he made sure he got home in a safe manner, which was very compliant with the law. The Wheat Ridge officers should have simply waited around and observed until the Uber arrived, rather than unlawfully forcing him to give them digital information from his private phone. But this unlawful arrest is nothing compared to the level of unprofessionalism displayed by the cop in the next video. This is a traffic stop that saw the First Amendment rights of a black U.S. veteran, O'Shea Jackson, violated by Columbus police officer David Rogers. In 2018, Jackson witnessed a traffic stop where a civilian was apprehended by Columbus police officers on suspicion of possessing a stolen vehicle. After the officers searched the subject, they found marijuana in his possession, and it turned out that the subject's vehicle was not stolen. Witnessing the scene from a short distance, Jackson brought out his camera to film the arrest. And here's what unfolded. Yes, you do. Okay. Not, don't deal with him. Sir, I'm dealing with him right now. You can go and step in front of my car and record all you want to. Sir, this is this investigation. You need to move. You're standing next to a stolen vehicle. You need to move. You need to go back there, okay? You can go in front of my truck. That's fine. I ain't going in front of your truck. Sir, you sir, go back to the jail. Sir, what you need to do. Sir, you need to walk in front of there, okay? I'm trying to tell you to get away from our seat. What you need to do. Sir, sir you want me to this, 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 is your last, this is your last warning. Get beyond our crime scene, okay? What you need to do. Do what I need to do. Okay. Okay. 
Don't touch it again. We gave you multiple warnings. Leave the scene. Robert Evans, we're safe You have any other weapons on you? Say again? You have any other weapons on you? No. Can you go on this side? Way I can hear. You were, you were Sir, not, well, I, I can't hear you're way back there. I asked you to step in, in front of me. This is the crime scene right now, okay? Like I said, I tried to move. That ain't good enough. And I told you to step in front That's of my enough. truck. We're next to a stolen enough. vehicle. Scott, get on this okay. side. a man with a firearm who's not listening. Okay. Obstructed our investigation. I backed you, up. No, I told you to get in front over there multiple times. I backed up. I don't care. Do what you. What do you call right. when you were right next? To you? Okay. Uh, when he said it was a stolen we're car. Trying to get there, trying to handle this. When he said it was a stolen car, I wasn't close to him. When he said it was a stolen car, then I said I will back up. You were right. You came right behind me. I asked you to step in front of my vehicle. I said I'm not stepping in front of your vehicle. And, and you have obstructed our investigation. videos everywhere here we're okay. not worried about that okay like I said when he said it was a stolen car I did back up a little bit further and I already told you multiple times I said, to step I, in front. Back there. I said told you oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry says, about that I'm able to record you guys and I can must be you can here. record all you want to I'm okay. saying I asked you to step in front of there here. do what you need to do okay well I asked you multiple times and you didn't do what you need to do okay what are you talking about okay we're gonna grab a camera I'll grab a camera I yeah, yeah, I must be able to hear what's going on. The First Amendment says I can record a public figure. And that's okay. When when a, he was way over there, I was over there. You can record, but I don't think there's anything in there about you being over here. Conan, Conan Bird and Glick. It's ten feet, but ten feet is way too close. I agree. So when he said this car was stolen, I I moved back over here. Sir, you came to right here. I said please go in front of my car. And I said I wasn't gonna do that, but I moved. And that's why we're here right now. Camera? Okay, that's why we're here right now. Do you see my camera? You moved about five feet. Do you see? You, is that five feet? You were right here. No, I was right here next to the door. Okay, well, let's say ten. That is not eight that's, feet. Actually, that's, that's ten we're meters. We're not gonna argue. Okay. Yeah, we're well, gonna go to jail there for obstruction. Okay. Do you have someone come get your vehicle? I sure do. Do I make the call? Where, do you have your phone on your person? No, it's in my car. Do you, do you know their number? Uh, yes. Do you want me to call from my phone? Sure. Okay. Hey, Michael, can I put him in your car until we get one of our guys? <laughs> You're not taking We just got another transport on the way. Somebody's gonna come up on charges after this. It's because it's not interference when I'm filming. You can't say. I, I, and, then I, and I said that clearly. I don't have a problem if you film. I said okay, you just need to get in front of the crime is, scene, and you need to get in front behind the crime scene. Okay. I told you that. I understand and you said you were you not said. gonna do that. I said I was not gonna move in front of your truck, but I did move. It's on my camera. I know it's on my camera. Okay, absolutely. Okay, well then we're, we're, we're so clear we'll, on that. We'll we're, see. We're clear on that. That I told you multiple times to get behind my truck, away from the crime scene. I said scene. I wasn't gonna get behind your truck. Is it still on the camera? You could still. You could still be. I cannot hear. That, right that, there. That, that, okay, that, okay. Well, we're not going to argue right here. Well, you're right. One second. I probably need a uh, second, second pair of cuffs because I have a torn rotated, rotated cuff. We got two on there right now, but we'll give you three. Really? We have two on there right now. Yeah. Now, do you know the number? I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to un uncuff you. Um, do you want me to call from my phone? Or how are we going to do that? Do you know the number? Yeah, I know it. Okay, put your arm by your side. You know me, officer. Uh, no, no, you're good. It's just false to safe. Yeah, no problem. Let me double lock this so I'm tied up on you. All right, you can step in the back seat. Watch your head. Now, you guys have a you guys have a policy of going straight to the magistrate before jail. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out our recent videos.